Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Future Stars. It is here today, one of the most hyped and looked forward to promos every single year as EA gives some wonder kids some really juiced up cards in FIFA to show off their potential in the future. So what I want to do today, we know what the leaks are, right? We've seen some of the leaks. We'll look through those quickly, but I want to talk about content coming in the game today and especially in relation to how it's going to impact the market because the market is very, very high. Prices are up like crazy almost everywhere on the meta market. Will that be impacted by future stars today? That's what I want to take a look at and talk about. And also we have the return of the future stars Academy objectives. We talked about those quickly yesterday. We're going to get another one of those today i believe as a part of our content so a lot to talk about today especially with the market and with team of the year ending i finally see the number one down there we did pack a team of the year yesterday finally it took all week so many packs but we finally got it done so we'll take a look at kind of an end of team of the year just a quick talk about that at the end of this video as well if you're excited for future stars today hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's quickly roll through the leaks and talk specifically about the content i'm expecting today now as of right now we have 16 future stars players that are leaked including the ones on the loading screen and uh, one of those is not included in this leak this year that is adiemi right so gavi kalulu julian alvarez right these are official stats as well. Gavardiol, Cherki, Gehi. We've got Elanga, Mudrik, Vitinha, Costa, Singo, Spence. And then yesterday, Foot Sheriff added a couple more leaks to our list. Kudus is getting a card inside of Future Stars, as is Garcia, a Spanish left back. And we have San Sanchet. I don't know how to say his name exactly, but another Spanish player in the Liga, a striker. So some lower kind of tier cards, kind of some pack filler, if we're being honest, right? At the end there. But the hype today is really for a lot of these guys. Mudrik, Vitinha, Elanga, Cherki, 5-star, 5-star, Gehi, Alvarez, Kalulu Gavi, and of course, Adiemi. It's really going to come down to the skill move and the weak foot boost that EA Sports give these cards. Because the stats, they look decent. They don't look absolutely nuts, but they look really good on a lot of the cards that are the most hyped up. We could have maybe seen a little bit more of a stat boost, and maybe EA is going to end up boosting these stats a bit more today. We'll, of course, have to find out the final stats that are released in-game. Sometimes expected stats, when they're leaked, can be a little bit wrong and off the mark. So those are the cards we expect today. Now, I want to just say a quick thing. I'm not expecting all 16 cards to be in packs today. I think we're going to have a mini release of three or four cards uh, that will not be included today that we'll see on either Saturday or Sunday. So if you're somebody who's lo really looking forward to like Cherokee or Elanga, you know, usually they take one of those like middle to high tier cards and they kind of delay it till the mini release. So just be aware that maybe not all the cards we've seen in these leaks will be dropping today. Probably a couple of them will be in the mini release on the weekend. Now, speaking of content we're going to see today, though, almost every single Future Stars year, they do Future Stars Academy. And we have five cards shown here on this like in-game little loading screen, I guess you will. One of those is English. One of the pieces of content I expect to see today is the leaked Future Stars Academy player that we have right now. And that is Anthony Gordon and it's kind of interesting because there's going to be another English left mid that we might see today and we'll talk about that in a second but Anthony Gordon is leaked as a Future Stars Academy player hopefully he gets a really really nice juice of course he just transferred to Newcastle so this will most likely be a Newcastle card in FIFA which may add a little bit of hype to his card if you think about it there's a few more Newcastle links like the Pope um, showdown card the Bruno Guimaraes the I mean Alan St. Maximin as well in the same position uh, as Gordon but we'll We'll have to see what this looks like, but this is always an exciting time to do the objective grind because you start with a low tier card, play some games, and you basically upgraded to the best version that everybody will be going after. And in the past couple of years, they've done a really, really good job of this. Last year, we had a Shaloba card that was really hyped up. We've had some really good ones in previous years of FIFA. I think this is going to be our guide today in objectives. I don't know if we're going to get any other objectives besides this today. Usually on a promo Friday, you start off with an objective player. Uh, so this might be our objective today. But again, that's a very exciting one. And hopefully, 
EA Sports will maybe give us some more info on what these cards are in here on the loading screen. Kind of reminds me of like the uh, Foot Freeze promo back in the day. Remember they had like daily player species and they would update us kind of with leaks on what those players might be. So maybe they'll update this screen. We have two English flags in there, Denmark, Italy, and Portugal. So who knows who's coming as a part of the Stars Academy, but it looks like one of those English flags is Anthony Gordon and I would expect to see that today. Now, one big question mark we have for today is what's going to be our SBC? Because usually at this point in the week, we have a leaked SBC as well. And as of right now, we know nothing about an SBC that would be dropping today. Could they do some sort of flashback or a moments of like a player who had a future stars? back in the day that's obviously something we would look forward to during this promo as of right now we have no leaks they could just drop a future stars legit player in sbcs today whatever it may look like i think we will get an sbc today of a player we just don't exactly know who that's going to be yet because there are no leaks hey you know what ea Surprise us. Drop us a surprise today. Maybe one of those players that's leaked to be coming in packs will end up being the SBC today. We will have to see. But of course, that content, if we don't know too much about it now, we'll just wait and see how that it's going to affect the game when it does drop. Now, speaking of SBCs, though, there is maybe an early surprise in for us today, just as there was yesterday with the player of the month, Sorloth. Today could be an early release for a player of the month, Marcus Rashford. Now, we talked about this SBC just a little bit before. Hopefully, it's 87 rated. Hopefully, they give him a four-star weak foot and a nice boost in stats. They have not been giving very nice stats to Player of the Month recently. I mean, the upgrade that we got on the Sorloth Player of the Month over his inform yesterday was literally just a plus one overall with some plus ones and plus twos. I would hate to see a Rashford today that is 86 rated and overpriced, but Player of the Month this year have really not been that great of value, and the boost, besides Odegaard, the last Premier League Player of the Month, haven't been that great either. So hopefully that changes today and we get a nice Marcus Rashford again. This SBC will probably, if it's dropping today, it could be today or next Friday, but if it is dropping today, it'll probably be dropping hours before content time. I usually, It's like middle of the day UK time is when the, this SBC is usually, usually dropped. So keep an eye out for that. That might be an early piece of SBC content that we get today. Now, I said we're going to talk a lot about the market today. And that's where I want to start the conversation now. Because as you guys know, this team of the year has been a bit of a different one. And we'll talk about that a little bit more at the end. But team of the year prices everywhere are up like crazy. And of course, with these cards being so expensive... And a lot of people just like, whatever, I'm going to open my packs and, and go buy cards in the market. That's that's kind of the feeling, right? Because people can almost not afford some of these team of the year cards with how expensive they are. They just keep going up. And I mean, to be honest, after packing one yesterday, for good reason, because all of these cards that I've used in draft or now that I use in my club are just levels above the entire rest of the game in terms of how they feel in game. So it makes sense why they're expensive. They're also super rare because all of us know how tough these guys were to pack uh, this last week. It was almost impossible to pack these guys. You had to open so many packs or just get insanely lucky to get one. Um, and I really don't think that any of the future stars today are going to have a really big impact on these team leaders. I do feel like the team leader prices are going to stay up around the same. So if you have any of these cards, maybe a drop, just a slight drop, you know, on a two or three million coin card, like most of these team leaders are, 100 to 200K, that's not that sizable as a drop, especially like a 100K drop on like, you know, Benzema or Messi. That's not that big of a drop. So I don't expect really big drops on any of these cards today. Um, and for the rest of the market, you know, that's where the question really comes in because Future Stars last year, and if we even look at this year's market, we're in a market right now where prices are just super duper high across the board. Look at this Benzema Winter Wild Cards. He was 1.1 million coins, even below that before Team Leader started. And he's just absolutely skyrocketed in these past, this past like week and a half. The whole market has just done this. It's absolutely flying. But today brings the opportunity for some more really hyped cards that people always want to try out because they're new and they're different. And I do believe that could impact some players on the game today. For example, let's take the Alan St. Maximum card, right? 570, 580,000 coins you know earlier when the team of the year panic sell he was like 383 even like 450k last week and now he is almost 600,000 coins with the mudrick card that is coming today one of the most hyped up cards that is going to be released inside of this promo 
You've got other attacking players in this Future Stars team, like Elanga. You know, we've got the Cherokee card. We don't know what alternate positions he might have. You've got the Anthony Gordon. You've got the Player of the Month, Marcus Rashford. A guy like this, could he drop today? Yeah, because a guy like Mudrick would probably be a substitute, right? That's where I think you'll see the biggest movements on the market today are with the substitute and with the complement links. And we talk about this a lot, but a substitute link is like a new Premier League left mid like this Mudrick comes into the game that has a lot of hype and really good stats or maybe better stats than Alan St. Maximin. This Alan St. Maximin might drop because of that as people sell this to go try out the new card. Now, do I think Mudrick's going to be 500k if he has five-star skills? No, he's probably going to be more than that. I think a lot of this Future Stars team is going to be very similar to last year where you have cards like Mudrick and uh, Cherokee, Alvarez, Gavi, Adiemi. Last year, the team, there were so many expensive cards, like around 750,000 coins to over 2 million coins. You had a really expensive Jude, Smithrow, Chameni, Vlahovic. And uh, there was one more that was pretty expensive. Like, oh yeah, Ferran Torres when he was dropped in packs, right? You had those kind of like upper echelon top tier cards. And then the rest of the team, besides Konate, who was like 300k, and Indica, who was like 200k, a lot of the team was less than 100,000 coins. And a lot, of, a lot of the cards were just kind of like, you know, not that great, didn't have that great of links or enough hype. I see the same thing with this team. I think Kululu might be like 150k today. He's not that incredible of a card though, right? Gavardiol might be your, you know, 300, 400,000 coin center back day one. Probably not even that much. Probably going to be cheaper than that. Um, but, you know, the Mudrik or the Vitinha with the PSG links, right, with the Adiemi, the uh, Alvarez, these guys are going to be very, very expensive today. So the part of the market that I would be halfway worried about would be the guys like Alan St. Maximin, maybe a, a Gabriel Jesus, cards that are between like 500 to 1.1 mil. Um, that are Premier League attackers, maybe Usman Dembele could take a hit in price today because some of the strikers that are coming out like Adiemi. So those substitute cards uh, could, that could be replaced by new future stars, that's where I'm a little bit the most worried about the market today. But I don't even have that really big of worries because I don't feel like today's content, unless something crazy, crazy happens, like there's going to have to be some other sort of catalyst today that would make prices crash uh, a lot, some sort of something that causes panic, which I don't even know what that would be, right? Last year, actually, it's kind of funny that I mentioned that last year on this day of Future Stars Day One, there was a ton of panic selling on the PlayStation market because the servers went down and everybody started panicking and prices like died like a couple hours before content and then they rebounded back and the market did really well yesterday or last year, sorry, on the Future Stars Team 1 Friday. Now, afterwards and into Future Stars Team 2, with all the content that came out and the leaks, stuff started to go downwards then. But for this weekend last year, the market did do very well. And I really feel like it could be the same way today. I'm not expecting a pretty, like a really crazy market um, crash day today by any means. I think the market's going to be pretty, I mean, not uneventful. Obviously, you have new cards coming on the game, but if you have a team with cards, especially if you have any team of the years, I think the team of the year honorable mentions are a really interesting look today. I really believe that they are because a lot of these cards um, are still going to be pretty rare. Like, I mean, how many of you guys have packed a Harry Kane this week? Probably not too many. Or how many of you have packed the, you know, Vinicius or the Valverde or the Alfonso Davies or the Cancela, right? These guys were really tough to pack as well. I feel like they have potential to do well out of packs. At least a few of them do, especially those that link to maybe some incoming uh, future stars. I think these cards are okay. I think the market's really going to be pretty safe today, just apart from a couple cards that will get impacted because something else is new is coming in the game. Kind of like we talked about with the Alan St. Maxim and with the Mudrick, right? Those are the types of cards I would be a little bit worried about Today. So take a look through the leaks team, take a look through the cards that are coming out today, and if something in your team kind of lines up with that, then maybe be careful. Uh, I think today will be a really, really good day to make coins, though, um, on the meta market, because again, the market's very healthy at the moment, too, and if people are going to look to sell off a guy like Alan St. Maximin, or maybe a Bernardo Silva, if they want to go try out the Cherokee card if it drops today, you know, those coins are still going to be on the market. People aren't losing a ton of coins, as a lot of people have bought cards for their team way cheaper than the prices that they are now there are still a lot of coins on this game and on this market where i think you will see prices fluctuate really well today and you'll be it'll be a great opportunity to trade especially with the brand new future stars cards um, as they are dropped in, into the game 
uh, I think these guys will fluctuate a ton, and that's exactly what happened last year. I remember trading with the Chow Many, with the Jude Bellingham, and you know those cards are going to have so much demand because still the hype today is going to be around those brand new future stars players. So I think the market should do pretty well today in the meta aspect of things. It all for the future stars players as well. It all comes down to the pack weight. I don't expect the pack weight to be super duper crazy. I also don't expect a lot of saved up packs today. I know some people have been saving up packs because they felt the team of the year weight was abysmal and I understand that, but I don't think that's enough pack supply um, saved up today to really impact the market that much. Of course, EA will still run lightning rounds. There will probably be more store packs in the store, which I don't look at here in a second, but I don't think that these future stars will like start crazy low and then rebound unless some crazy preview pack or something like that would drop, which preview packs, we haven't heard about those in forever. So speaking of packs though, really quick, we have some news to look at here, and we actually, these packs that have been added to the code, they tell us a lot of information. First of all, three new store packs, a Future Stars Foundations, Essentials, and a Cornerstone pack. Seemingly the same words they use, they just rebrand it for every promo, right? Foundations, Essentials, Cornerstone's kind of a new one. But notice here, two of these packs contain Future Stars swap tokens. We've already had a pack in the store that has contained a Future Stars swap token, the 80k pack. Looks like we're getting two more. That would be three tokens in total from store packs over the Future Stars uh, swaps campaign. That's a lot of swap tokens in a short time uh, span in store packs. So EA is going for the bag with these. Um, and I mean, it kind of makes sense because, you know, we like to open those packs to get those swap tokens and you get some decent stuff inside of it. 10 rare golds, 86 plus, 11 rare golds, 85 plus. So all untradeable items from these packs. So watch out for that. I would expect to see at least one, if not two, of these store packs in the game today, maybe even more throughout this weekend. They also added a Future Stars player pack, which contains one Future Stars player, and it doesn't signify that it's untradeable, but what I feel like this pack code might be referenced to is the swaps pack. Uh, the three token Future Stars Team 1 pack. The only thing that pack code doesn't say also is it doesn't say that it's a Team 1 player only. But again, um, today, of course, only one team is going to be out. The second team will be next Friday. So I don't know if we're getting the swaps or rewards today in game. Obviously, we have 10 tokens that have been released so far. So if we were to get the swaps rewards today, everybody could either do the three token um, Team 1 player pack for Future Stars. And if you have all 10 by now, you could technically go and open an 84 times 20 if that's going to be a reward that is released. Kind of, again, a sticky situation with that one. This message in game does not talk about an 8420, but the picture that EA posted on Twitter and the website do mention it. So not sure what's going on there. But I honestly don't think that the rewards are going to be available today for this. It could happen, um, but I just maybe not uh, today, maybe a couple days later on the weekend, maybe next Monday. Who knows? I guess the potential is there. But since that pack has been added to the code, all these other packs, like an 85 times 10, we've already had that in the game, 81 times 11. It's not like they have to add a bunch of new pack code for the swaps program. A lot of the packs we've already seen before and player picks never show up in the code because they just don't. However, that works for EA. So just that's kind of the Future Stars uh, swaps wind up or roundup um, as of now. Let's talk about fodder for a second as well, because you guys know fodder prices have been moving. Yesterday, we saw 86s at like 16K. They went back up to about 20,000 coins um, after the milestone rewards got paid out. They had a kind of a nice spike here. People got the rewards, probably went out and did some SBCs. And now they're back down again in the 16, 17K range. And I think they're going to go a little bit lower today. Unless we get some sort of crazy SBC, which is not super common on a Friday, I think all of your fodder today, between even the gold rares and non-rares that are still slightly inflated in price because of upgrade packs, um, I think those are going to go down with upgrade packs going away today. 84 is probably going to drop. 85 is probably going to drop. 86 is going to go down a little bit as well. You know, 87s, 88s, 89s, the higher tier fodder still could drop for sure a little bit, but I don't know how crazy it's going to drop because you still have all of the big SBCs that require the high rated squads are still going to be there. Zidane is still there for a couple more days. A lot of your icons are still there. You know, all of your big SBCs that were dropped during team of the year, play of the month Mbappe is still available. So um, your demand's probably going to drop off a bit because people have been crafting those with the upgrade packs during team of the year. But these 
these car prices should maintain their elevated prices at least for a little bit longer while there's still demand for those big SBCs. But I think this begins, especially late tonight on Friday. I'm talking like late, late night, maybe even early Saturday morning, depending on what time zone you're in. A late Friday and into Saturday, between the next two days, today and tomorrow, fodder is going to be a buy again, in my opinion, because I think Future Stars, as it does every year, brings a lot of kind of the gamble pack type of fodder, right? We had that Future Stars like Reunion player pick last year. We had a Future Stars um, SBC of some sort, like for a Future Stars player pick or something last year as well, like maybe even a guaranteed Future Stars. There's always good content during Future Stars, player SBCs and the gamble pack. So, for that reason, I really like the 84s to the 86s because when I think of like a gamble type of pack, I think of like 84, 85, 86 rated squads with maybe some specific 84, 85, 86 requirements in there for those SBCs and maybe even some of the informs in that range as well. A lot of the higher tier informs are still up, right? I mean, we bought 87 informs at 20K. I'm still holding those. I know they were 30. They're back down to 25, 26. I'm still holding for greener pastures. So I think for this stuff, if you see 84s go to like 3K today or like 85s back at like 8 to 9K, that to me is like, all right, we're going to look at some really good buying opportunities on fodder this weekend for SBCs that will come this week. Because even though this promo for some of you guys may be like, Nate, it's, it's cool, right? Future stars, yeah, yeah, but... I'm not opening packs. There's still going to be lightning rounds. There's still going to be packs that are sold because these are big name players uh, of the stars of tomorrow that are going to be in packs today. So definitely watch out for the fodder market on this game today. And of course, with today happening, it's the end of team of the year. And, you know, yesterday we finally hit it big, hitting our team of the year pack pull. I know some of you guys have had really good pack luck team of the year wise. Other of you guys have had terrible pack luck. Finally hit a team of the year. It was V. VD and I'm, when I'm telling you guys this card is so good he's unbelievable two games and also using him in draft I know that he's just different right I also packed Koulibaly yesterday so my defense I mean the biggest part of my team that needed the upgrade was the defense uh, because I was running regular Cordoba and base Desai now that's gotten a huge upgrade the team looks absolutely phenomenal now and I absolutely love this VVD card man so so many packs throughout this past week finally paid off to get us a VVD yesterday. I'm still going to build a few more packs today, and this is a good last-minute shout uh, if you guys want to do this. Uh, maybe some premium Premier League or La Liga upgrades. And the 78-plus triples, gold commons, I think, are like 400 coins now on bid, or maybe even 450. It's really cheap to do some upgrade packs for today if you want to go ahead and try to see if you can have a, ch a chance at packing um, any of the Future Stars players. That's absolutely something you can go ahead and do. But just really quick to end Team of the Year. I mean, Team of the Year this year was so weird. It really was. Like, the lowest pack weight in a long time for Team of the Years. The stats weren't that amazing. I mean, they feel incredible in game like they should. But the stat boost, we still didn't have any 99s. We had a lot of, like, 96s, you know, 95s, 94s. So it was just a weird one, right? We had a lot of SBC content, but it wasn't all the most insane. It was a lot of just mediocre priced SBCs and okay boosts, right? With the Ramos, with the Mane, small boosts, medium prices, and then, of course, the big player of the month, Mbappe. That's not even really team of the year related. Um, and then the upgrade packs were a bit of a bummer as well, only getting eight cards instead of 12. It was just really weird of a team of the year, and I think the pack weight is what really made it disappointing for a lot of people. One bright side for team of the year is that we did have a cup, and we had a lot of objectives, especially the draft objectives, to get some cool packs, and those 85-plus attacker, midfielder, and defender packs did give us a pretty good chance of packing blues, but just a really weird team of the year. I think it's going to go down in my books as so we will have to see if future stars can continue the hype or maybe even build the hype back up we'll have to see how good the cards are that are dropped today and of course how ea keep us hooked during this promo with sbcs and other sorts of content so if you're excited for the promo today once again drop a thumbs up on the video comment down below what you thought about team of the year and your thoughts on what you're looking for today on future stars and of course if you're new around here hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys on the stream today it's been nate the foot account catch you guys later peace